Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, after a figure skating drought, we have had so much figure skating this season, and I am so very happy. Now we have one last competition before the Olympics officially start, and that is the 2022 Four Continent. Now, at first, I didn't think this was going to be a very competitive um, event. However, as I was looking over each discipline, I really am starting to feel like we might get quite the show at Four Continent. Starting off with the men's discipline, I honestly think the podium will be between um, Cha Hanwha and the Japanese. I feel like even though Cha doesn't have the jumps, I think he has the whole package. And when you put the tech score plus the PCS score, I think Cha will win the night. As for second place, I feel like Mura Kano has a really high tech component. And if he can manage to land most of his jumps, he might end up in second place. As for rounding off the podium, I think Tomono um, Kazuki, whom I just love. He is such a showman. He is such a great skater. I think he will. He could definitely find himself on the podium. And I'm putting him in the bronze medal position. But I think he could do even better if the night plays out um, his way. As for the men who would round out the top 10, I think Miyaki Senna would prob- probably come in fourth. I can see... Um, um, Camden Polkinen, if he manages to have another performance similar to what he has at national, I can definitely see him in fifth place. Jimmy Ma, if he also managed to do t- two clean programs here, I would definitely put him in sixth place. Um, I don't know how Tomoki Hiwatashi will do. He's such an inconsistent skater, but he's got like really good skating skills, nice knee bends, but he's so up and down, but I can definitely see him in seventh place if he manages to get it together. And then we also have, um, Lee Xion. I can see him in the top 10, maybe uh, in the eighth place. And then I think the two young Canadians, um, Corey, um, Cecily and Joseph Fang can definitely round out the top 10 for men. But definitely, I think it will be between um, Cha and the Japanese for the podium. Um, Next for the ladies, the fact that um, South Korea is sending its entire Olympic team to this event is amazing. I don't know if it's worth the risk, but I definitely think it's amazing. I think the title should definitely go to Yu Young. If she manages to land her triple axel, then she'll be way ahead of the rest of the pack. But if not, if she can go relatively clean, I think Yu Young will take the title. Um, I think Mai Miyahara should definitely come in second. She's been very consistent this season. She just missed out on making the Olympic team, which is really heartbreaking for her. But I think she could definitely win second here. Um, rounding off the podium, I think if she can land her triple triple clean, um, Yilem Kem can definitely walk away with the bronze medal, and this will set her up for her Olympic. Uh, as for the rest of the top ten, I think um, Hai and Lee, I would put her in fourth place. Then I would put the remaining two Japanese ladies, um, Rino Matsuki and Yuha, um, Yuhana Yokoi, I would put them right after each other. I think Kalani Crane can easily finish top seven here. After Kalani, as for the Americans, I would put Gabriella Izo in eighth place, Audrey Shen in ninth place, and I can see Star Andrew rounding off the top ten. That's how I would see the ladies playing out. Then moving on to the pairs, this should be a really easy win for Audrey Liu and Misha um, Mitrofanov. They didn't have a great outing at Nationals, and I think this is their chance to 
show, you know, the U.S. Federation that they are the team of the future and that they should be the one that they are investing in. So I can definitely see Audrey and Misha winning this competition. Uh, as for second place, coming fresh off a really great competition at Canadian Nationals, I can easily see Evelyn Walsh and Trent Michaud coming in second. They don't have the elements or the text of Audrey and Misha, but I do think they are riding a high. They have a lot of support, so I definitely think they could come in second here if they go clean. Rounding off my podium is my beloved queen diva, Diana um, Stiletto, with um, her partner, Maxim Deschamps. I, can, I think they could easily get on the podium here. They have such interesting lists, such interesting moves. Her position in the air is just exquisite. So I can definitely see them, you know, earning their first international medal at this competition. Then the rest of the top six, I think Emily, Emily Chen and Spencer Howie have a good chance at being fourth. Um, Laurie and Mate and, and Terry Furlan could be in fifth place here. And then Kathy Macbeth and Nathan Bartholomew could round out the top six for pairs. And then finally, when we get to the ice dance... I definitely think um, Caroline Green and, Mar and um, Michael Parson can win this. This is definitely their competition, I feel, to win or lose. And if they are going to lose it, they're going to lose it um, to Kana Maranato and Daisuke Takahashi. Daisuke! Yes, they. I feel like that's the team that can definitely challenge them is Daisuke, whom... Oh my God, I wanted to see them at the Olympics so bad, but um, they didn't win nationals and the Japanese Federation went with the team that won. But I feel like this could definitely be a gold medal for them if Green and Parson fails to deliver. Rounding off the podium, I see Emily Brenty and Ian Som Somerville. Oh my God, I am a big fan of Ian. He has got so much charisma, so much ice presence. And this team is so fast, nice, deep knee bend. I'm really interested to see how this team grows going forward. And then as for the remainder of the team, I think Christina Carrera and Anthony um, Padomarenko can come in fourth. Um, Caroline Sosis and Shane Ferris could be fifth. And then rounding out the top six can be Marie Jade um, Lorette and Romaine Lagarde. That's how I think the placements for these this event will possibly be. I didn't think I would be looking forward to Four Continent, but I am really looking forward to it. But let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment.